video uh, continuing with my previous lecture uh, previous video we are going to start with the we, we are going to discuss biological nitrogen fixation so as you can see the name uh, biological nitrogen fixation biological nitrogen fixation it is done with the help of microbes which microbes especially like rhizobium rhizobium plays very important role in biological nitrogen fixation means now we are going to talk about uh, that nitrogen is fixed with the help of bacterial method that is with the rhizobium so this uh, but these microbes they can be free living also they can be symbiotic also now what does that mean free living means they are not dependent on plant symbiotic they live in close association with plant symbiotic symbiotic are um, those relationships in which both uh, the uh, parties or basically if i say that both plant and well as bacteria they are going to take benefit from each other they are helping each other so this kind of relationship is known as symbiotic relationship so microbes can be free living or they can be symbiotic free living we can uh, write down example of azotobacter rhodospirillum and symbiotic is the most famous one they are the rhizobium nostoc and abena why because they fix nitrogen these especially these nostoc and anabina these are famous for they because they fix nitrogen in both uh, uh, through both uh, method that is they are free living also or they are they can live in the both ways free living as well as the symbiotic also so we our main purpose is uh, we have to talk um, about the nitrogen fixation in detail by uh, symbiotic bacteria rhizobium so let's see step by step that how nitrogen is fixed by rhizobium now rhizobium it does nitrogen fixation it fix nitrogen specially in leguminous plants what are leguminous plants uh, all those plants like your uh, chickpeas you have uh, you eat uh, beans red beans rajma you eat peanuts green split peas these all are leguminous plants and in these leguminous plants nitrogen is fixed with the help of bacteria that is rhizobium now there are few qualities or few features of this bacteria first thing it is anaerobic means it is it occurs or it stays in absence of oxygen so it is anaerobic in only and only in nitrogen fixing state means when it fix nitrogen this rhizobium bacteria is going to be anaerobic otherwise in normal state it is aerobic bacteria so rhizobium it is aerobic bacteria but become anaerobic when it has to fix nitrogen it has enzyme why it is so special why we need to talk about this rhizobium in detail it has special enzyme that is nitrogenase and nitrogenase genase is molybdenum iron protein very very important question from your need point of view that nitrogen um, nitrogenase is molybdenum iron protein it is a complex of molybdenum iron protein and this the why it has to be anaerobic in nitrogen fixing state because this enzyme can work only and only in anaerobic condition so this bacteria also undergo or also change its condition from aerobic to anaerobic now let's see uh, mechanism that is how does this work first step is nodule formation now what is nodule formation how these things they are going to happen let's see step by step so uh, rhizobium survives where it occurs it occurs in leguminous plants it survives in roots of nodules of leguminous plants so as just first let uh, try to understand this diagram here you can see this uh, i have drawn here this root here this root here is drawn here and this root here around this that is root here is uh, soil particles are present now here is our bacteria that is rhizobium now this rhizobium it multiply around the soil uh, or around the root here and produce 
an infection thread this uh, rhizobium start producing an infection thread now this infection thread results in uh, through this infection thread rhizobium enters into the uh, this root here and it cur help in curling of root here and ultimately it reach to the cortex area cortex area of root so when it reach to cortex area of this root it start multiplying this bacteria which bacteria is there rhizobium it start multiplying and finally results into mature nodule so what is happening here if this is the root here now this root here near to this root here rhizobium divides multiply and produce an infection thread this uh, through this infection thread it enters and this root here is curled and then it start multiplying in the cortex area and result into a mass of cells which is we are calling as a mature nodule so let's see in a form of flow chart that what is happening here development of root nodules in soya bean we have specifically taken example of soya bean now rhizobium bacteria comes in contact with a susceptible root here it uh, selects a, a particular root here and comes in contact and then starts dividing means multiple copies of this bacteria start formed and then root area gets infected i told you that in this step what is formed here infection thread is formed once your bacteria multiply infection thread is formed and it cause the root here to curl this root here start curling means if this was the root here in normal condition now this root here will be curled now infection thread this infection thread is having bacteria inside the cortex area this bacteria will modify to bacteroids into the inner cortex now and there it start dividing so division of these cells give rise to a mass that is called nodule formation so mature nodule mature nodule is uh, now going to compete with the vascular tissues vascular tissues means xylem phloem which are going to transport uh, plant uh, that food and water and it start forming a direct connection with the plant so who is getting help now see bacteria is having its nutrition and as well as a uh, plant plant is getting nitrogen fixed by the bacteria which bacteria rhizobium so this is how this thing work so in the last you can draw this flow chart that uh, first that uh, infection thread is formed curling of root here so it depends on the marks that if it is asked in three marks uh, uh, then you can you have to draw all these with the diagrams if it is asked in one uh, two marks specifically then this much flow chart is sufficient for you to uh, write so formation of infection thread curling of root here infection thread reaches up to cortex and changes into two things i'm i'm leading you here or i'm leaving you here with the two points that is the special nitrogen fixing cells infection thread reach to the cortex area and change into special nitrogen fixing cells and there is a mass of cells or uh, uh, that uh, is ultimately your nodule so there is a uh, it uh, change into nitrogen fixing cells or the bacteroids bacteria they help in cell uh, bacteroids they help in cell division in cortex area and finally nodule formation and these nitrogen fixing cells ultimately they are going to maintain anaerobic condition for nitrogenase to work so i am leaving you here with these two points that is bacteroids and special nitrogen fixation because tomorrow's lecture is all about the mechanism of nitrogen fixation with the help of enzyme so that's all about our today's lecture uh, i will meet you tomorrow take care have a good day